Hi, welcome everyone. I am Anshul and uh, today I'll be teaching you about Cognos BI tool. How to use Cognos BI tool and how to be an expert user in Cognos BI tool. Okay, so uh, before beginning with Cognos BI tool, I would love to ask you certain questions like What is Cognos BI tool? And why do we use Cognos BI tool? What are the costs involved in co using a Cognos BI tool? So, uh, let me go ahead and answer the first question over here. What is a Cognos BI tool? Uh, a Cognos BI tool is a reporting application which is used to develop reports for the senior management, for the higher management, for your chairman and the top level executives to, you know, take a decision on their business to see where the business is heading to. It is going in a loss, it's going in a profit, or what are the best sales figures, who's the best salesperson, which is the region which is giving us the maximum profits and all that stuff. So, Cognos BI tool is basically a reporting application which uses the common raw data and converts them into actual useful information. That is the usage of a Cognos BI tool. And why do we use a Cognos BI tool? You know, uh, the term BI, there are a lot of tools available in the market right now. ClickView, TabView, OBIE, MSBI, a lot of other tools as well, BO. So, why, why we use Cognos BI tool? Cognos is still the market leader in the BI section. That's because Cognos has a very high advanced security features. Secondly, it is a heterogeneous software. That means it can work on different databases. It can create joint between Excel, a flat file, a CSV file, uh, a SAP uh, database, maybe a SQL server, a Oracle, Teradata. It can combine all those data from different, different databases and combine them and put them into a single data mark and then use them to create joints and other stuff. Though Cognos is a very strong software. Secondly, the security and other administration features of Cognos is also quite high. So that's why we love to use Cognos. Now moving on the cost factor. Although Cognos is a little expensive because it's license based and you need to purchase licenses for all the you know reporting modules that you're using for every user. So it's a little bit uh, avoided these days but still it will come as a lead to the market because all those who have purchased Cognos are not thinking of moving to ClickView or Tableau which is a very small software be used for very small scale industries and cannot work on higher databases. Okay, so uh, I believe I've covered what is Cognos, why we need Cognos and you know what's the cost factors. Now let's move ahead to understanding the concepts of data warehousing. Okay, so I've written over here data and information. Does anybody have an idea what's the difference between a data and information? I'll tell you. Data is like raw data. If you see below, you can see there are a lot of databases written over here. MySQL, flat file, which is also a kind of a database or a you know a data section. SAP, Oracle, Teradata, SQL Server, Mainframes. So whatever raw data that you get from these databases or database sectors, we consider that as a data. So that data is really difficult for the senior business managers. Like let's suppose in a company, I am a technical guy and I can understand, you know, uh, SQL Server environment. I can write select star from this particular table and get data out of it. I can mine into that data and get my required, you know, thing which I'm analyzing or on which I want to do analysis on. So uh, that that is like raw data for me, which I'm able to use. But if we think about the top level CEO or top level director, he may not be able to use a select statement or a select star statement or an update or an alt statement or other statements to get that or fetch the data which is requiring. So for that we create and we use that raw data and uh, convert that into useful information for the senior management. So when we convert that data into useful information for the senior management, that is known as information. And that is exactly what we do in BI. That is business intelligence. So there are a lot of tools which are using, uh, you know, which are, which are being used to convert the raw data into actual business information, which is used by the senior management to take decisions effective decisions on their business. 
Okay, so let's just move ahead. Now, the data that we have, we have captured from the MySQL, flat files, SAP, Oracle, Teradata, SQL Server, mainframes, is all converted into information using a tool or using a process known as ETL. The ETL is the heart of data warehousing. The ETL means extract, transform, and load. What are the three stages? Okay, now uh, what we do in ETL is we extract the data from all these different kind of databases that we have. We load them into a single data warehouse or we also call it a data mart. Okay, so once we extract the data, we load them into a single data warehouse data mart. Before loading them and after extracting them, we transform the data using our own business rules. For example, let's suppose we have some data, raw data in the database and we want to convert that data and make some other tables, other columns into it. We want to add on or we want to skip some data. We want to capture only a few more of data that is required to us. All those things are known as transformations. So those transformations, extraction and loading is done by ETL tools and some of the tools available are like Informatica, Data Stage, Amnesio, MSBI is a complete, you know, uh, Microsoft SQL Business Intelligence Studio suite which contains SSIS which is the SQL Server Integration Services which is basically an ETL tool which is used to extract the data from this flat files transform the data as per the business requirements and then load into a data warehouse mart. Okay, now you know all these uh, raw data servers are also known as OLTP and all these data warehouses are known as OLAP. What is OLTP and what is OLAP? OLTP is online So OLTP is Online Transaction Processing and OLAP is Online Analytical Processing. What's the difference between the two? Okay, OLTP databases are used when we, uh, you know, they are used in real-time scenarios. They are normally in higher normalized forms like 3NF, 2NF, BCNF and they are having small, small, small tables which are linked together using relationships and in the OLTP, the data has to flow very fast and has to come out very fast. For example, if you're going to an ATM to withdraw some cash, as soon as you withdraw the cash, the, the transaction of your cash withdrawal is recorded into the OLTP databases, which is a fast moving database because if you transact now and the, the transaction loads after a day or maybe after hours, it's just not useful. That's a loophole. So OLTP to our databases are very slow, uh, uh, sorry, very fast, and they are very small. They are into higher normalized forms. They are used for transaction processing. The OLAP databases, that is the data warehouse, data mart, are big databases having huge number of records, big tables with big number of columns, and they are normally used for analytical processing. They are not used for transaction. They are slow, but they are being we make efficient to have fast processing because of huge amount of data. Okay, now moving ahead. Okay, now uh, if we drill down further, we have the flat files which we you know extract the data, convert them into a data warehouse using the ETL tools as shown over here. Okay, now on the ETL tools we do some certain kind of analysis. The analysis is like analyzing what the data is showing, where is my best sales, which is the reason which is you know giving me a, a better profit. So all this analysis is done by tools like MSBI, SSAS, that is SQL Server Analytical Studio or the Cognos, I'm sorry for that, that's Cognos Analysis Studio. So uh, this analysis, after doing the analysis, we generate reports and the reports is the actual information which is done by Cognos Report Studio or the MSBI SSRS. Although in the Cognos uh, you know, studio, the reporting section and analysis section is almost same. While in the MSBI, we do the analysis first and then we make the reports based on those analysis. Okay, so uh, let's move ahead and see the table examples.